Why did the SCBA president return the check? Uh, well, it seems to uh, be that the media is in the middle of everything which is happening here at the Supreme Court. Uh, Suomoto cases are uh, taken up on the basis of media reports and now Mr. Kazi Anwar has stepped forward saying that media persons are resorting to character assassination and he cannot tolerate that and he's returning the check which was given by the, former, uh, by the law minister uh, to the president of Supreme Court Bar Association for the welfare of the Supreme Court Bar Association's employees. It, this money which had been given by uh, Dr. Barbara Wan was not meant for the lawyers but for the employees and I had talked to some of the employees here, gauged their reaction and they are quite frustrated at the move. They said that the money should have been distributed among them and uh, they should have been given a part of the money and now it has been returned and there is no chance they could get the money. The bar members, however, do have a different reaction. We do have uh, Supreme Court Bar Association member Hashmat Habib with us. We'll be talking to him about the money which was given and the prospects of taking that money back. Could we take that back and provide relief to that Supreme Court Bar Association employees? Where is the element of politics in what Mr. Barbara Wan did yesterday? It was for the employees of the Supreme Court. It was apparently for the employees of the Supreme Court Bar Association, but there was a hidden technique. It was, it appears subsequently that with the consent of uh, uh, the, uh, Kazi Anwar, he came to the Bar Association and gave a promise for 40 lakh rupees for library and gave a check for 10 lakh, lakh rupees for the employees. The way he did it, he was, he was, uh, Barbara Wan was using abusive languages against the judges. And at that time, you know, we are, we are having the case of this uh, notification. And the people's word against this uh, rumor are the factual position about the, uh, uh, the uh, notification of, of uh, 19th no, no, But, the, but uh, Hashmat Habib sir, that rests with uh, uh, between Mr. Baba Rawan and the judges. What is essentially wrong with providing these uh, uh, Supreme Court employees who have low wages with money in the shape of grant? No, we, 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 we do help our employees, you know, on every uh, if I used to give about 1,000 rupees and we, can, we give the contribution. There, there are many ways and means how we can help our employees. We can adopt that, but in this way, impression was given as if Kazi, Kazi Anwar has succeeded. But it was only an impression. Impression, not, not impression, in, in practical, you know, they, they addressed the press conference, both jointly addressed the press conference, and the way he, you know, gave the, gave the gesture, Baba Ravan, as if he was, he, he said... That you you mean to offer. say because Mr. Baba Ravan appeared with the Supreme Court Bar Association president yesterday, it would influence judiciary somehow or it would it give the government an upper hand? It will not prejudice or influence the judiciary at all, but the general impression will be given that Supreme Court Bar Association has been also purchased. This is the impression. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, this was Mr. Hashmat Habib, he's a member of the Supreme Court Bar Association. It is about impressions which are being created. Dr. Babar Hawan has been earlier accused of distributing among lawyers associations. And by the way, it is no crime to give grants to ba these bar associations, uh, which are heavily dependent upon this money which is given to them under the Legal uh, Practitioners and Bar Councils Act. And now, Mr. Hashmat Habib is saying the impression is such because of probably the tug between uh, the judiciary and the government that it creates an impression that the government would be able to influence the Supreme Court Bar Association or his president. Right. Vesel, now we just heard one opinion. Mr. Hashim uh, uh, of course, is entitled to his own opinion. But generally, you've been monitoring uh, these developments. Uh, yesterday, when uh, the joint press conference was uh, conducted, what was the sentiment in the judicial and uh, the political circles as to what exactly is happening regarding the so-called conspiracy theory? Uh, well, the opinion of the lawyers is highly divided. There are lawyers who are associated with Pakistan's uh, Lawyers Forum and then People's Lawyers Forum, uh, to be more precise. And then there are lawyers uh, who have their independent opinion and they say that the money which is being distributed by Dr. Baba Ravan is to influence lawyers and to divide them. 
Uh, the restoration campaign, they say the lawyers stood united, but now Baba Rawan is trying to clear, create a wedge between the lawyers. We did see yesterday when Dr. Baba Rawan tried to hold a press conference in Rawalpindi, uh, lawyers came out and started protesting against him and he had to uh, leave that press conference and go away. So the opinion among lawyers is highly divided. Uh, you can draw a line between what the PLF lawyers believe and what the other bar associations or the Supreme right. Court bar Faisal. associations believe. Now, is this a common practice, the uh, federal law minister coming out and uh, handing out uh, checks to different bar associations nationwide? Is, is this a common practice? Has this been witnessed before? Well, the bar associations do need to generate funds for the welfare of lawyers, for the day-to-day -day running of the bar association. And who does uh, uh, this money, uh, who provides this money to these bar associations? It is clearly that the government grants them uh, money under the Legal Practitioners and Bar Councils Act. It is nothing illegal, but the timing and uh, the controversy which prevails uh, here makes it so highly controversial mm -hmm. that now Mr. Uh, Kazi Anwar had to return the cheque. And it is also true that Mr. Kazi Anwar was himself uh, the man who had been criticizing Dr. Baba Rawan for distributing cheques among different uh, bar associations here. <coughs> right. Uh, thank you, Faisal, uh, for that update. Faisal Shakila, correspondent, apprising us about the latest controversy brewing up uh, in Islamabad. Well, the Foreign Minister, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, says that Pakistan's relationship with the United States suffered two setbacks uh, with the NATO airstrikes and relentless U.S. drone attacks. Speaking at the Harvard University, the Foreign Minister said that Pakistan has to protect its borders and the United States needs to respect the nation's sovereignty. Qureshi said the U.S. can improve relations with Pakistan by taking up issues such as uh, pursuing a free trade deal, discussing civil nuclear cooperation along the lines of uh, a pact with India or uh, pressurizing India over the disputed Kashmir region. He also said Iran has no justification to pursue nuclear weapons and that it should embrace overtures from the United States.